Hey guys, Gregory here. Um, so I know I've, I've been off the air for a while, off the internet. Um, part of the reason for that has been just having trouble getting back into the swing of creating content. And then the other part of that's been um, recent family issues. Um, so Monday afternoon, um, actually, it was actually Monday morning mom um so as you guys know mom and i live in a, an apartment together it's just more convenient and more um financially friendly for for us to just share resources and stuff so um we're both on disability we both help out with bills everything works out right so tuesday morning um mom is having some issues um she recently has been having issues with hives and with other things and just all kinds of stuff and so to this day um she starts to have her tongue swell which obviously this is not a good thing so she calls my sister and they take her to the hospital where her doctor is um, this way that she's in the right place and she's got all the right um, information and she's got the best possible team for her, especially considering they also know about her having cancer and having treatment and all of that. So we don't hear anything. Well, I don't hear anything because I don't go with them. I stay home and I stay stressed. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a mama's boy. I worry. <laughs> so... I hear back around a couple hours later, they got her to the hospital. She's being put on a vent. She is being transported to a different hospital in a, in a better location where they can get treatment to her more easily. She ends up being transported to that ICU. Great. So she's sedated, she's intubated, and she's on a respirator, right, or a ventilator. Great, great. And then yesterday, Thursday, I go to see her, and she's no longer sedated. She's on the ventilator still for for when we get there. And then eventually we get the um, news that, oh, well, you're doing well. We didn't take the ventilator off. Mom, of course, is ecstatic. She's been, you know, she's been dealing with this for the last couple of days. She's ready for it to be out. Probably the quickest turnaround on a ventilator I've seen seen ever. Not that I've seen anyone, but I've heard of a lot of stories where it takes people a while to get off of the vent because once you go on, it's usually a bad thing. However, unlike most people, her lungs were working. It's just she couldn't get air because of the darn swelling in the tongue. So they got her on um, antihistamines and on other stuff to the, get that go down, and then yesterday, it had went down enough, they took the ventilator out. Great job. They still want to keep her overnight, they still want to do testing, they still want to figure out what's going on. So this morning, they do a heart catheter test. There are heart blockages. <laughs> and they, uh, they're not quite sure what to do. I'm still not sure what is going on with that and what they're going to do but she's 66 i'm not surprised that she has issues but i'm also not happy she has issues and not, well neither is she neither are any of us the whole family is just kind of not happy about the whole situation i get it um please pray for mom <laughs> If you have faith and if you are a praying person, please pray for mom. She needs it. I need it. Pray for me that I might not go completely insane being alone in the house by myself um, when I'm here. Because I've got places to go during the days, some days, but I don't always have somewhere to go. And I don't always have someone to go be with. So being by myself with my own thoughts is what led me down a dark path a few years ago. Thankfully, God delivered from me from that. 
And I have not been tempted to go back down that road just because I'm unsupervised. But pray that that continues to be a victory for me because otherwise I could easily um, see, I can see the enemy's tactics and what he's trying to do. I, I'm aware of it and I'm fighting against it and I'm keeping in contact with people that can help me. But gosh darn it, if it's not a battle every single moment of the day not to go and do something stupid. <laughs> um, we we will probably not find out de definitively what's going to happen with what the doctor wants to do until probably Monday, maybe Tuesday at the latest. Um, I'm not anticipating anything happening Saturday or Sunday, tomorrow or Sunday, but um, just because weekends tend to be slower and because doctors tend to try and um, consult with each other as best they can to try and figure out the best possible course of action. So um, in the meantime, pray for God's healing hand upon mom. Um, pray for guidance for the doctors and pray for peace for mom that she will remain calm. I mean, she is calm, calmer than I am. <laughs> not saying much though. <laughs> Mom would definitely say that's not saying much, but I'm just kind of in a, um, I'm in a rough spot. I mean, I'm in a tough spot because I, I, I love my mom. I want her to be healthy. I want her to be happy, but I also don't want her to go through pain because of something that, that is wrong. And this is very wrong. So um, please pray for mom. Please pray for me. Please pray for my family. Pray for everyone to remain calm and remain somewhat um, hopeful because God does do miracles. God does do work, um, even through the tough times. And I believe that. I am not depressed. I am not anxious. I'm just kind of not happy with the whole situation because I know how it is. And I know how frustrating it can be to be stuck in a situation where the only option is to wait for a professional to actually do something. <laughs> Which, at least at the hospital she's at, is a bit more likely to happen sooner than it would have been at the local hospital here in town. Because, let's be honest, those people are just kind of... Uh, if, if my sister had taken her to that hospital the day that she was going into a not great um, state of being, they would have still been waiting to get to the back at the time that they actually got to the hospital in the other, in the other city and got her back almost right away. They had probably still been waiting um, at the time where they decided to transfer mom. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, things worked out the way they needed to. But uh, I'm going to be uploading another video after this one, but um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am so thankful for all your support and all of your um, just genuine care when it comes to praying for me, see, um, seeking to reach out to me, everything else. I thank you guys so very much. I'll see you guys again in the next video, which will be up in a couple of minutes. Um, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.